Greetings. We, students of St. Xavier's College Physics Department, are here to talk about the concept of torque and opening a door the right way. But first, what is torque and what do we know about it? So here we go. Everyone who's ever opened a door has applied torque without even knowing what torque means. Torque, denoted by the lowercase Greek letter tau, can be defined as the measure of force that causes angular acceleration. The point from which the object starts to rotate is known as the axis of rotation. Torque is equal to R F sin theta. Here, F is the force causing the torque and R is the moment arm. The R vector denotes the position from the axis of rotation to the point the force is applied on the object. And theta is the angle between the direction of the R vector and direction of the force vector. The arrow on top of tau denotes that torque is a vector quantity, which means torque has both magnitude and direction. Now let's look at a door to understand torque better. To open a door, the first thing we look for is a handle. A handle is always located far away from the hinges of the door. The hinges of the door act as the axis of rotation. To open a door, we try to push near the handle of the door and never near the hinges of the door. Let's see the reason behind this. The value of R is from the axis of rotation to where the force is applied. Therefore, when we push the door using the handle, the value of R is also larger. Let's call this value R1. When we try to push the door from the side of the hinges close to the axis of rotation, the value of R, here R2, is smaller. Let's assume that the magnitude and direction of the force applied in both cases is equal. The force applied near the handle is equal to the force applied near the hinges and is in the same direction perpendicular to the door. Thus, the torque here is equal to R into F as sine of 90 degrees is 1. With a constant value of F, the torque near the handle is greater than the torque near the hinges. Smaller torque means smaller angular acceleration, thus smaller ability to open the door. Now, let's consider the possibility of opening the door from an angle which is not 90 degrees. When we try to open a door from any angle that is not 90 degrees, the sine of that angle will be less than sine of 90 degrees. Because sine of 90 degrees gives the maximum value of sine. So in this case, the torque will be less. One last case. What would happen if we try to open the door from the sides? If we push a door from the side for it to open, the direction of the applied force is opposite to the R vector and the theta between them is 180 degrees. The sine of 180 degrees is zero. Therefore, no matter how hard we push, there will be no torque on the door. Same will be the case with pulling the door from the side. Since the theta will be zero degrees and sine of zero degrees is zero. Lastly, the unit for torque is equal to the moment arm times the force, thus meter times newton, that is m times n. Thank you.